kid. Singing along, I'm telling you, I thought I was, I was just like Annie Lennox. Anyway, I hope your Monday has gone well, it's not been too painful, and if it has, then don't fret, we are here to look after you up until 11 o'clock when Eve Blair will take over and then she will close the station. If you want tonight, you can watch uh, some of the programme on Facebook, just head to the BBC Radio Ulster Facebook site now. And, uh, and you can click on the watch. What we're going to do is we're going to stream uh, a couple of the conversations that we have and uh, you can watch that. So you won't get the music, but you will hopefully uh, get the chat. Back to the programme tonight. Hello to my guest. Uh, Nicola Weir has returned. How are you? Hello, Vinny. Will I wave? Are we on now? <laughs> I just wave anyway. It's Hello. totally fine. And... Hopefully I have no boogies hanging out of my nostrils. <laughs> not a good time. Uh, no, well, look, it's not, nothing that I don't know what even to say to that. <laughs> uh, anyway, Nicola, thank you for coming down tonight also Ashlyn Clark is this your first time on Radio Ulster no I've been on Radio Ulster quite a few times <laughs> it's the first time on this programme first time in this programme yes is it your first experience of Nicola Weir it is the first time we've met good luck so far so good, good luck yes. <laughs> it might be painful I think I'll do all right. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. N- Nicola is quite a. It, it's quite an experience, uh, Nicola Weir. Um, but anyway, first uh, uh, we're going to do tonight. It's uh, a discussion around can you be mates with the opposite sex? So in the movie, when Harry met Sally, you'll m- remember this. Uh, Harry definitely didn't think that it was possible to do that at all. Have a listen. No man can be friends with a woman that he finds attractive. He always wants to have sex with her. So you're saying that a man can be friends with a woman he finds unattractive? No, you pretty much want to nail them too. What if they don't want to have sex with you? Doesn't matter, because the sex thing is already out there, so the friendship is ultimately doomed, and that is the end of the story. There you go. What do you think? 81771 on the text tonight. Ashlyn, uh, as it's your first time on the programme, what do you reckon? Can men and women have a platonic relationship? Yes, I think they can. And I have several male friends myself that I can honestly say I've never thought like that about. I think when I was a teenager, it was hard for me to be friends. But your hormones are flying around everywhere and you fancy everybody when you're a teenager. But I think as an adult, attraction can be a conscious choice. You can have the initial twinge of that guy, he's good looking, he's smart. But then you can nip it in the bud and you can move on. I'm a married woman. So I haven't been married very long, I'll admit that, so maybe I'm naive. How long are you married? Uh, only since April. Well, congratulations. Oh. Thank you very much. Nicola Weir, on the other um, hand, has been married for about 40 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm what, a bit, <laughs> bit jaded. <laughs> what do you reckon? Can you actually... Because it's a serious thing. These kind of things can test a relationship. And sometimes people come and go in your life and, and you make new friends. But is it OK for, for example, your husband to come home and say... Well, look, I've, I've met this lovely lady at work. We're going to go for a wee drink. But don't worry, of course, you know, you're my wife and you trust me. I am of the opinion that men and women can never be friends. And Are you old cynic? You no, know, I, I, I don't think they can be best friends. Now, I do have male friends that I am very, very close to, but all of them are gay. Um, and I think that I'm friends with them and I have this close relationship with them is because, you know, you know that there's nothing, nothing is ever going to happen there. And therefore, you know, probably my husband is secure in that and I'm secure in that. And that's why we're friends. But I think that um, having a relation or a friendship with a man. Yes. It just, I just don't think it works. I'm totally of the opinion with Harry there. He said sex always gets in the way. Something just occurs to me now on what you said. So you've got friends that are gay men. Are mm-hmm. they friends with each other? What do you mean? Are they friends with each other also? Oh no, most of my friend, most of my, my my gay friends that I have are all individual. You know, they're not just part of a big group. So I would just have them all as individual Nicola friends. Likes to, to kind of hedge her bets, so she spreads the, yeah. the, the Nicola love and the Nicola <laughs> yeah. friendship around. Is but, it is it easier, Ashlyn, for for men than women when it comes to this, or is it actually harder? Uh, well, I couldn't say because I'm a woman, so um, I'm not sure. I think it's probably different on but an individual basis rather than um, I wouldn't split it up like that. I'd say I might find it easier than a friend I have who's very hypersexual or something like that. Sorry, uh, is what? Hypersexual. hypersexual. I have never heard that. You're very term. innocent. I am very innocent. <laughs> and I'm also uh, I'm aware that my mother could be listening tonight. But, but <laughs> well, I apologize keeping it, keeping it OK for, for, for the BBC, like, what is that? Just someone who's... Uh, <laughs> I think it kind of explains itself, but someone who's a little bit more 
um, easily excitable. Is that a way to, <laughs> to explain it without getting into too much? Um, okay, okay. Trying uh, to keep it clean here. Yeah, you know? please, please do, because Nickel will do her best to do the opposite. <laughs> yeah, so just to drag it, don't drag it down. Um, uh, but uh, the reason I asked you about it being easier for men than women, uh, maybe being a woman you can answer that in that how you would feel about your other half, your husband mm-hmm. or your boyfriend, whatever that might be, compared to how you would feel yourself, you know, if you had a male friend. Do you mm-hmm. think you would deal with it better than your husband would? Do I, do I think I would deal with him having a female friend better yes. than he would deal? We both have friends in common and friends that have existed before we knew each other that are of the opposite sex. What about a new friend then? Um, I'm trying to think if there's been an example of that happening. Um... I, um, okay. I think my husband's actually pretty. He's he's not a very jealous sort of person. I think he would be okay with you that. You see, I I think you know you're kidding yourself. I think again, it, I'm in the first flush I, of newly being married. Are. Let, let's define then first of all, Nicola. Before we move on, what the friendship is. So obviously, this is maybe a, a good friend, someone that you can ring up and say, look, this has happened. Something's that I'm upset, or I need some help, or I need some assistance. You can rely on. So it's not just a fleeting thing because we all have a lot of acquaintances or people that come in and out of our lives but you wouldn't really expect to rely on them yeah well i think one example i had in this was many many years ago just in case my husband's listening many many years ago (laughs) whenever i was working somewhere and i did have a you know i was going out with somebody a long-term person and they were as well and i would honestly say that they were a friend we had lots of things in common you know we we spoke every day and it did get to that stage where um, you know, as Harry said in that thing, you know, that kind of attraction, that kind of spark showed itself. And I thought that it was, there was almost that line that could have been crossed. Well, are you being unfair and it, it then? Actually, it actually, ru- you know, it ruined a very good friendship are because... You, are you being unfair on your on your husband then because you're going on you and, and how you've reacted in the past? I don't think... And I have experienced this that... Um, He's really going to kill me. Um, but uh, that he, you know, there was a place that he was working and he's happened to mention he was going out for walks at lunchtime and he mentioned, you know, that they were going out as a group and then he kept mentioning this woman's name. And, you do, you know, you do sort of think, well, I don't know this woman. She's not a, she's not a mutual, you know, she's not a friend. And I, I don't know her. I and, can and tell I think you. it does stir up emotions that you sort of think, no, I, I don't want you to be friends with that person that I don't know who is female. Is there a trust thing here, though? No, I don't think it's anything. I think it's really... It's, 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 I don't mean, it's I don't mean an, your relationship, by the way. I mean, in general, is this a trust no, thing? No, I, I really don't, because you really are friends with people that you have lots in common with. And therefore, you know, that's why you are friends. And it, it can spill over to if you're talking to them all the time and if you're confiding in them and... You know, there is that possibility I that can, things yeah, can go that over that could, line. It could happen. Yeah. I think it's just you always have the choice as an adult to to just go. I'm not going there. And if it's something that that you feel, and I trust, I trust my husband. I'm sure you trust your husband too. But if you feel like it could go there, that you sever that relationship. But there, that doesn't mean there's no woman he could be friends with. That doesn't mean there's no man I could be friends with. It just means mm-hmm. that you have to make conscious so, so decisions as, as long, an adult. As long as they don't find them attractive, whoever that might be, whatever side of the relationship well, we're talking about here. I have male friends that I would say are handsome. Like, I don't think of them romantically, but okay. I'd say they're good-looking men. And so was Harry right then? I, I, I think don't, he might have been. I don't agree. Okay. Uh, you can text us at 1771. Uh, hello to... No, not, no name on this, but it ends in 352. Uh, he says, "My uh, when, when Harry Met Sally is my favourite movie, I also have female friends. My pure love is my partner. Isn't that lovely? Whereas I know from Nicola being on this programme before <laughs> that if her husband asked her anything, the response would be this. Never, never, never. <laughs> I just keep that little sound bite on, on file because... It, it usually comes in, in handy. It comes in handy, doesn't yeah. it, every now and again, it, it, yeah. It does. Actually, yeah. I should take a recording of that and take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to set down then ground rules, Ashlyn, whenever you go into a relationship so that you don't come up against this? Or is that just preparing yourself for problems? I think it's you need to, in general, have um, a lot of deep discussions with each other where you find out what your boundaries are in general. And I think people do that quite naturally mm-hmm. when they're in a relationship. And uh, you establish trust and that that comes with the territory Are these friends from before you're married or is this something that can be extended to new friends 
Um, I think it can be extended to new friends. I personally don't have... I, I trust my husband, as I say, so if he made friends with a new woman... I wouldn't immediately feel jealous. I, th- I, I really think that you're kidding yourself. You really are kidding yourself. Most of the, the people that are male friends that I have are attached to a, a, a girlfriend of mine. So I never, ever been in their company without having them attached. And I think that if my husband come home and said, I have made this new friend and it's a woman. I, I, you know, it's as much as happened. I, as much as it I trust, as much as I trust my husband, mm-hmm. my, Antenna would be. You would be. You don't up. trust her. You trust your husband, but you mightn't trust her. I just. I, I oh. would like. I would like that. I would. I like having, knowing that I know this other person or knowing I that like they're in the group of friends. Squirm, Nicola Weir. Uh, Christine on Facebook <laughs> says hello, Nicola and hello. Ashlyn. Uh, <laughs> she says easily excitable. I'm not sure who she was referring to there. Uh, Christine says I actually think it is possible to have male friends who are proper reliable friends. As we come to the end of this discussion, Nicola, I'm going to start with you. Mm-hmm. What about when it comes to ex-girlfriends? Because quite often in relationships, I know what you're going to say to this, um, sometimes relationships end quite well uh, and sometimes the friendship continues. So what would you say to your, your husband? That would be an absolute, definite no-no. Uh, no, I, no, I no. do think that's a lot more difficult. Oh, we find a so line with Ashley. I've then. only <laughs> one, I don't, I think I've only got one ex-boyfriend that I could, that I could properly say that I can just be friends with and there's no baggage. But in general, I think that's much harder. You think so? Yeah, you've already Absolutely. established a relationship based but, but on. But hold on, no, we've both both of you have said have said that you trust, and if the trust is there, so if the trust not, is there, it's there. It's not really about trust. It's more that my friendship with my ex boyfriends isn't. It can't just be a clean thing now. It has mm. all this baggage. It's more about me than I'm thinking. Then I can honestly say I'm not friends with any of my ex boyfriends. I only have the one, and that's it. I yeah. think maybe oh, that's a, a choice on their <laughs> side, Nicola. <laughs> No, but I seriously, so, I, I'm not any time I, there on uh, that flip. No, any time I finished a relationship, that was it. It was like, let's just move on. Let's just, you know, bye-bye, I'm away, and I don't want to be your friend. And I never, ever, ever have remained friends with my ex-boyfriends. And as you say, that probably is a relief to them <laughs> as well as to me. <laughs> Uh, do you think it's has changed much, Ashlyn, in terms of 2017 to years ago? Or is this something that's like a core issue that will never really differ? Do you think? Uh, do I think it has changed? Yeah. Um, we like to think we're living in modern times. I think now, things are probably different. More liberal. Like in my parents' day, it was a lot more difficult to have friends of the opposite sex. I'd say, but nowadays, I think you can, and I think you can make the decision to just be an adult about it. I think I, it's possible. I think you can be, <laughs> be an adult about you can, it. You can, you can, I'd say you can have an acquaintance that's a male friend, uh, but not a so not a not, real, not, not, a, real not, not a real friend. Not no. a real friend. No. Well, there you go. Uh, you can still text us if you would like on this. It is 81771 on the text. Or you can tweet us at BBC Radio Ulster. A hello as well. If you're watching on Facebook, we're going to end the Facebook Live. And we'll hopefully come back to it later on. But of course, you can still listen um, to the programme on the, the radio or, or online, whatever you prefer. Uh, next question for you, very briefly, Nicola. Do you believe in angels? Short answer? Yes. No. Well, have a listen to this. The seeing of angels, and I have seen angels at different points throughout my life now, so it's very hard for me to deny them. I can't deny them. I know they're there. I use them on a daily basis, and I can tell you they perform miracles for me every day. Can I tell you that I spoke to that lady a week or so ago, and she is fascinating, really fascinating. Her name is Anne, and we'll hear from her later on. We'll talk about alternative therapies and uh, the existence or not, depending on what you believe in, of angels. We're going to go back to the music now. Uh, we-